Hello, I'm Rolt, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix up the this car, which is the Darter Razor in Car Mechanic Simulator, or to be specific, the engine, because this is the this has the last part thing which really is different from other cars because as you can see the suspension is pretty much the one from the inline from the normal inline 4 with the, with this ray bar just being in a different area and it's having the solid rear rear wheel drive axle and this car is also one of the few one of the three cars where you need to use gold the premium currency which is up in the, which you can see here up in the top right corner to be able to get it because well you have to and the way you do it is by going onto the map and going onto the find the car feature and then you can see already in this the description which I'll now read select a car John will, John will find a special barn with this car for you. Now this means that if you select any of the cars here, that you can mm, well, that John, the, which is one of the, which is the person you can see on the screen there, will find any of those cars for you in a barn, which he specially searches out for you. But that comes at a cost because, well, those cars each have a search cost. For the common one, for quite a few, and it depends quite frankly on which car you have, what price they have to, for searching. And this one, as I said, is one of the free cars where you have to use gold to get them. And this one really is the only one which is different in some way to the others or really in an impactful way different because this one the motor edge voyage or how it's spoken is basically the onyx g200 which is just above there in a nutshell because well they both have the inline six four wheel drive undercarriage so yeah the only really different thing is the body and the last thing is the collat up carry or how the first name there is spoken because well that's basically a that's a v8 that's basically a v8 with four wheel drive but the only real different thing a real new part is the exhaust or is the flame pipe which directly comes from the exhaust manifold from the engine and I also think that that car shouldn't have a V8 but a, instead a V8 overhead ventilation like the Axis Prince, Onyx Road Timer and here are the rest of the cars. They're pets, but it's not about those cars. It's about here, this one. So, oops, not fixing the body because, well, I'm only doing the engine today. And the first thing I am going to have to do is here disconnect the drive shaft. Because, well, without the drive shaft, I can't take off the gearbox. And if I can't take off the gearbox, I can't take off the engine block, which is replaced, as you can see. And this has actually has quite a few new parts. For example here, the exhaust pipe is different, because on the N94 it goes to... it get, you need to take off an exhaust cover manifold before you can access it to take it off, for example. So I'll take that off. Then, as you can see with the gearbox, it's the it's basically the same one as the inline six has, but 
That's because the 96 uses this exact sa same type of gearbox. And under the gearbox it's just the simple clutch. But that clutch release bearing, um, yeah, that doesn't look to be in the right position. Because if I'm... Because, well, it's right in there, actually. Well, on the other cars, it's it sits on that ring, on that middle ring of the clutch pressure plate. So, let's get those part out, those parts off. Then here, oil pan and oil filter. And the filter actually looks good. Then here, the exhaust manifold with... And then the engine cover, and here is the main thing which is different. You can see that the exhaust, but you can see that the engine head is different. But this also has a different intake system because, well, the throttle is the same, but this is a, but I don't, well, but this is a different type of fuel injection, injection system, and I don't know the full name of it, but it's called MPI in a short version, but I don't know what that means, unfortunately. But the inline, but the normal inline four with the front wheel drive, that's a direct injection, as it says on the exhaust. Uh, yeah, not exhaust intake. So let's take off the belt over here. The alternator. No belt, it's just all the standard belt stuff. As you can see that this is quite rusty and the reason why and this is also kind of the reason why I waited to get this car because well I always want to I always think it's the best thing to do when you want the most profit. To get the most rusty to get the cars in the worst condition because that way you get the most profit. I've and I mean I got about over 50k with with an over with a V8 car, but here, but that's not about that today. So I just took out the igniter wire, the ignition wires, and now taking out the spark plugs. And that's another difference to the normal N94 because the N94 has in igniter coils instead of igniter wires. So, and with the igniter distributor off, I can take off the timing cover. And you can see that it's quite different because the b there's a belt tensioner underneath here. And then there's the big wheel for the single drip for the single driven for the single camshaft and the way the camshaft works you can see that there are some you can see that there are two no two of each block which activates or well which push down the valves and on the normal on the normal valve on the normal camshaft they would, there are two of those, or, well, there are two for each side, so two for the exhaust and two for the intake, but here it's only one for the exhaust and one for the intake. But there is only one camshaft anyway, so take off the engine head, and that's frankly the only difference between the, from the bases, it, well, the inline for single overhead camshaft is a, from a basis just a normal inline four. And, and it's just sharing the engine body and the lower parts. So now to get the new parts, um, uh, forgot ads. I'll just be, I'll be right back once that is over.
Well, sorry about that, but I just had to restart the game because, well, there was just the screen which wouldn't get away. So yeah, and the, and just if you want to know the way to avoid it, is to turn off the in to start pl to play this game without internet. That that helps a lot when you want when you don't want to play with that. So let's. I'll just quickly already go into Gearbox, so I can just going to just sell all the parts first, which are broken that is, and then into Gearbox, and the parts here, which are, and the only good parts are the flywheel and clutch bearing, so let's just get the rest. So pressure plate and normal clutch and the clutch plate itself. Start in gearbox. Then go over to engine. And then go in the warehouse to engine. Or over to the engine and it's actually pretty surprising that the only two parts which are actually usable of what is one camshaft cap and the oil filter <laughs> so I'm going to have to do a lot of buying so an alternator bell tensioner then th three of these one of the camshaft and one of the cam gears the crankshaft bearing caps three of those one crankshaft one crankshaft pulley engine block, engine head, and engine head cover, exhaust manifold, oil filter, and fuel filter, fuel rail, idle roller A, ignite, ignition coil, oh, that's the ignition coil, I thought that was the ignition distributor, oh well. Ignition wires, in the exhaust intake, the, the intake manifold, the oil pan, four pistons, the power steering pump, the belt, four spark plugs, a throttle, a timing belt. Let me cover and water pump. I hope that's everything I got now, or everything I need. And just to quickly do a check over, and looks about right. So now, now, oh yeah, forgot about the exhaust pipe. So just quickly go to exhaust, and here I'm just going to be showing you the difference. Because the, there you can see the normal exhaust pipe of the inline 4, which is where the recording bubble currently is, and you can see that there's that it's only the metal color. Well, where the recording bubble, bubble now is, the one for the single the exhaust pipe of, for the inline 4 so, so, uh, single overhead camshaft does have some black and the black I presume is just heat dampening so let's get that in and the engine block and start assembling the engine again and I always tend to do first the part here where the belting is and one thing I also noticed just again just now is that you can put on the water pump without needing to put the timing cover on. That's something which you can't do on the normal N94. So get the oil filter in and normally the oil and fuel filter would always be replaced in real life. So yeah. Then here the crankshaft wearing caps and I've also developed a new technique when it comes to putting 
camshafts and crankshafts back on which kind of is to make it which is more realistic in the sense because now I always tend to do it so that for that I'm spreading the load out or trying to spread the load out evenly so that one part isn't crushed and the other is just comparatively loose so yeah and the, now for the solder and now the gearbox is done but I won't put in the drive shaft because I still have to do the rear axle and I would have put the drive shaft on if the rear axle was in good condition so basically had no rust over and I mean the rear axle itself so now put the pistons in and I always put, and I tend to put the oil pan for in first before the engine head just because well I that way well I think the oil in the bottom is more the oil for, for the pistons is more important so now just the exhaust manifold and the spark plugs and I also don't really like this music which is currently going on in the background but well yeah you can't really skip any music and if you want to restart the game which I don't want to do now so got the ignition system back in now for the intake got the fuel rail and if any one of you knows what MPI stands for please do it please write it down in the comments below so now the camshaft Oh, I need five of those. Okay. In real life. Oh, and just to just so you know that the rear muffler on for the the rear muffler A in line four actually doesn't really look like that in the game itself, only on the picture. So yeah. Now back to the engine. Get a new camshaft cap and now put the middle one in first, then here for the outside one. And this all and the assembly and this assembly also might be going also is go or also is going a little bit faster than in the previous episode. But that is because as I'm quickly going to show you, I now have the fast assembly. And the way I got it is because, well, this game is so kind to always do, well, to give daily rewards, which you also can double with ad by watching ads, which are also only, which are optional. So if you don't want to watch ads to double the reward for the day, you don't have to. So, and now I'm just putting on the timing cover and then crankshaft pulley. And once I get the idle roller there, it's some. It's a bit difficult to get certain parts. I can put on the belt and the rest of the belting. So, here we go, and the engine is done. So, and just to show you that it is done, all the parts regarding the engine are not, are not glowing gray, are not glowing yellow. So, and I mean the engine itself. So, and just if you're wondering how the daily rewards work, well, you just have to go 
in the game with internet, and then you'll get the get, and then after a short amount of time, a window will pop up, and for the first two days you only get money, but from on the third day you get five goals for the second day ten and for the third uh, fifth day uh, let me just repeat that uh, let me just do it again so for the daily rewards for the first two days you only get credits or money then for the third day you get five gold fourth day you get 10 gold and fifth day you get 15 gold and you can double everything with ads, which I always tend to do because, well, why not? But anyways, I think this has gone on for long enough, so, well, if you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike, and please also tell me in the comments why, because that is, con that is constructive criticism, and it helps. And it may even help to do what you want. So yeah. And if you really want to help me, consider sub subscribing. But well, be prepared for pretty unregular uploads. At least for the moment. So yeah. But well, that's it for now. Goodbye, and I'll see you soon.